Just one day after the House passed the debt ceiling bill, the legislation is now in the hands of the Senate. While some Democrats argue the spending cuts go too, some Republicans say they don't go far enough. For Fox News correspondent Madeline Rivera has more. With just days before a June 5th deadline, senators are racing to pass legislation that would raise the borrowing limit and cap government spending. If the Senate makes any changes to the bill, it would head back to the House, a delay that could result in a government default. At this point, any needless delay or any last minute holdups would be an unnecessary and even dangerous risk. But lawmakers on both sides are calling for amendment votes that threaten to hold up the process. Some Democrats argue the spending cuts go too far, while others, like Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, want more funding for the U.S. military and Ukraine. I'm not going to destroy our military in the name of raising the debt. I'm not going to be part of a political system in Washington that pulled the plug on the Ukraine at the time they're making advances. Over in the House, Speaker Kevin McCarthy secured a victory Wednesday night when the legislation passed in a bipartisan fashion. But some Republicans argue McCarthy's deal with President Biden compromised too much, and they're considering the idea of filing a motion to vacate the chair. Though the majority say they still have confidence in the speaker. We started a few months ago with Biden and Schumer saying clean debt ceiling lift or nothing uh, and and just telling us to eat it. So they got a lot of good policy. It's the Senate requires 60 votes to end debate, meaning at least nine Republicans will have to back the bill before the final majority vote to send it to the president's desk. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox News. One of the representatives who voted against the bill was Southwest Missouri Republican Representative Eric Burleson. We spoke to Burleson, who says some changes need to be made to the bill before he would support it. Our, our district did not send me to D.C. to continue to keep adding more and more debt to our national debt, which currently stands at 31, almost 32 trillion dollars. Um, I think that it's important that we we start course correcting so we can start balancing our budget and start paying down this debt. The 99 page bill would restrict spending for the next two years and suspend the debt ceiling into early 2025.